here we are now with a block with a crank securely installed yes and now we get ready with the pistons and the rods so we lube the rod bolts extensively with ARP lube this way it's gonna torque up really good with enough friction or not too much friction and of course we got the piston rings clocked and ready yes sir yes sir all right so now we're gonna be ready to install the pistons to the block or the crank this way we're gonna finish up the bottom end oh yeah it's gonna be really really good here we are all right so yep even the head is fully machined and ready to assemble yep so this one's for you let's go <laughs> Okay, first things first, my my Facebook, my personal Facebook got hacked, so I lost control of the old page, so this is the new page, and of course, link will be in the description below, so check it out, you gotta follow it, and of course, we got the price list there of all the work that we do, like from porting to engine building, even tuning, and so you can check all the posts there, we have a few discussions on the comments, and a lot of people just PM me or DM me with questions, so I try to answer them. So now let's hear on the engines now we got the K20 here with the crank fully assembled, the autocross sock that we're still working on, and of course the separate D16 block that we're working on here. But that's for another video. So yep. So now let's go back to the K20 here on this one. Yes, we're gonna lube the rod journals here this way first, so it's gonna be easy. It spins really light and good. Okay, now let's lube the rod journals with the Torco assembly lube. This way, when we install the pistons, we'll just go, you know, tuloy tuloy lang, you know. All right. And then we turn this a bit to get the other two journals, two and three. All right. Yeah. Okay. So now... We lube all this at the angle here and here. All right, and the other side here. This way, we fully lubricate the rod journals. All right, there you go. Okay, now it's gonna be ready. Yes, I'm gonna set aside the Torco assembly lube first. So, yeah, we see the whole journal is fully lubricated well. So, let's turn this. There you go. All right. Okay. Now we got this ready. Let's go to the desk. Here we got the ERP rod bolts or the rod ERP 2000. We lubricated it hand tight on its own thread. We did this twice. This way each thread is well lubricated with the ERP lube. And got the piston rings ready now. Fully clocked and we actually lubricated with our ATF kerosene mix for the piston rings is all ready with the ring compressor there. So, yep, we're gonna start this. Let's go to the engine stand now. Let's go, let's go. Okay, first of all, we make sure the board is clean from dirt or dust or even flash rust. We please spray it with WD-40. And then of course we wipe it off clean and good with a shop towel or paper towel. Here we go, we speed it up. Yep, now it's all clean. But before anything, if you're liking this video, hit the like button because the more likes it gets, the more activity it shows to the algorithm. So the algorithm will spread it to a wider audience so we generate more views and the channel super needs that because, you know, this helps us grow even better and make new content. And of course, if you haven't subscribed this way, you guys can check out another on another day the other videos that we have we had a lot of series on b20 vtech k series d series everything we've had a lot of those so you can check it on some other day once you're subscribed that would be so good right okay and now of course there's a channel membership this is for those who's or who's are into engine building because the general public will find it a little boring if it's going to be all too detailed but hey we have that and we'll talk about that more later don't worry okay all right now time for the pistons okay we we'll start this all right make sure it's aligned well all right you tap it so that it's like perpendicularly perfect. So you can tap it in safely. We gotta click it one more time because it's you can still tighten it enough. 
once you have it flush on the deck, you can actually tighten it better. All right, there you go. Okay, now on to the rod caps. All right, we hand tight this, then we're gonna tuck it later once it's all done. Well, once all the four connecting rods are installed and the pistons, of course. We hand tight this, all right. Now we turn it back up for the next one. Okay, let me grab the pistons. So let's make sure this is aligned well. The rod journals, all right. Okay, now here, put the next one in. We do the same thing. We tap the ring compressor, make sure it's flush and perpendicular to the deck so that we can check if it needs a little bit more tightening. If it doesn't, okay, still needs it. If it doesn't, you can, you know, go straight to tapping the pistons in like this, firmly and securely. Here, okay, there, okay. Now on to the rod caps. We turn the block once again. And of course, hand tight once again. Because we're gonna tuck this all together later. Okay, now the next one. Next piston is al aligned well on the journals, just so that you know you, the the rods don't don't ding the rod journals. There's gonna be a, you know a lot more problems because you have to either have it machined or the crank will be unusable. Okay, now we tap it good, firmly. Well, there you go. Okay. Now once again, rod caps hand tight only. For now, yes, okay, return this, yeah, it turns really good now, okay, flip this up for the last piston, okay, let me see, let me peep the rod journal so this is all aligned, you can actually rely on the, having the two and three pistons on top dead, but yeah, I'd rather look at it with my own eyes. Okay, now here, the last one. We tap it securely. Yes, okay, that's all perpendicular. And now we tap it in. Yes, and that's it. Okay. Well, no, that's not it yet. We gotta put the rod bolts in, or the rod caps and the rod bolts. All right. Okay, there you go. Okay, so we loosen this so we can torque it. And this rod's EIP 2000, the measurements re requires 50 feet pounds torque, so we're gonna go with that. Okay, now I take this one. Yes, the clicking sound is addicting, I know. I hear you guys on that. Yep. Yep. Okay. And now we speed up the rest so this, you know, it doesn't get too boring. All right, that's all good. The last one. Yeah, all right. Oh, it turns really good, really light, and that's awesome. It's gonna be running really, really good. All right, so now let's turn the block now. It's all ready. Look at that, all installed clean, it's all good. The deck of the block is freshly resurfaced and it's all flat. We just removed 0 .03, uh, 0 0.003 of an inch or 0 0.07 millimeter. So that's barely nothing. That's just making sure it's flat, right? Now let's go to the head. Yes, here it is on the decks. Yes, here. All right, the deck is the deck of the head is also resurfaced. We just removed 0 0.003 inch or 0 0.07 millimeter. So it's just, you know, we just make sure it's clean. And of course, you can check on this episode here. We were do, talking about the port work. And of course, a little bit more here. Look at that. Yes. Oh, it's looking really, really good, right? Yes. Link will be in the description below for the 
episode that we were doing the head head pointing and of course that's the second episode it's here link will be in the description below and also we have another dedicated video of reporting a prb k28 type r we showed how do you pocket port it and how we actually how we actually fully port it so yep this is gonna be good and yes on the members only we have the chamber work and all the details that we did we made an extra video just for the members only it's too detailed so it's going to be boring for the general public so we just put it on the members only you can be a member if you like and check it out all right we even got videos on detailed videos on dyno tuning and every run that we do and air fuel and even engine builds all the tricks and stuff is there so i'll see you guys the members uh, would you look at that oh it's, this is ready to be performing efficiently Yep, we just need to install the SuperTech valve seals that we often use and then fully assemble the valves, the valve spring entertainer or the valve train and it's going to be ready to be slapped onto the block because the block now, the bottom end, is fully complete and fully finished. So, yep, then we're going to work on the TWM ITB and all the other good stuff for you guys. And also, we're actually making, I'm actually making a video, but it's specifically a 040 VW head that we're working on the chamber work. We're going to make a video about that, talking about the details that we do, which is also the same details that we focus on even on different platforms like the KCs, the Hondas, BCs, and all that. And look at this, look at the short turn. Oh, it's really good, right? Yep. This is ready and all the exhaust ports are done really good and nicely. This is going to be ready to be performing really, really good. Yep. And as soon as, you know, as soon as we finish the video, you're going to have to edit on the end screen. But for now, you got to click here for more.